Welcome to the Jekyll 69 channel with visual distortion movie review, reviewing the 2015 movie Focus. what you get when you hire a con man. I can convince anyone of anything. You see, there's a science to getting people to trust you. I want in. With your current skill set, you don't. Maybe he could teach me in your room. That is so bad. Is it? Does it feel sexy on your face? A little. It does. OK, let's go. We're about 30 strong. Everybody gets a percentage. They hit quick and get out. Who's the girl? She's our intern. You hitting that? I'm right here. No, Farhad, I'm not hitting that. You should hit that. When the rimba rhythm start to play, you never drop the count. Dance with me. Never break. Make me sway. Where are all the black people? Like a lazy. I got this. What? Oh. Oh, sorry. Hold me close. Congratulations, you're a criminal. You might be one of the best I've ever seen. So what about the big con? Thought you were all big time. Taxi driver. You mean the one where we make so much money we all retire? I swear I've got three lives balanced on my head like stick knives. This needs to be discreet, no holes. I can't tell you the truth about my disguise. You seem trustworthy, but you don't know me. If it brings me to my knees. Is he a mark? That's fantastic. Bad religion. He's not a guy you want to cross. I love it. 1.1 million. Nikki, that is my money, too. Now you make things interesting. There's no room for heart in this game. It'll get you killed. How's it feel? Wow. There's two kinds of people in this world. There's hammers and nails. You decide which one you want to be. No, I, it's a, it's Starring Will Smith as Nikki, Margot Robbie as Jess, Adrian Martinez as Farhad, with Grill Santoro and Gerald McRaney. The first impressions I got when I started watching this movie was that of 21, the card counting game with Kevin Spacey that came out about three or four years ago. So this is where I pretty much figured the movie was going to go down and then as it progressed quite quickly on because it is quite a fast moving film but with a lot of detail in it so after about 15 or 20 minutes in I got the feeling of Wolf of Wall Street and not just because it stars Margot Robbie in it who also starred in the Wolf of Wall Street but just because they seem to like splurging their money out a lot once they have got it and it then transpires that Will Smith's character seems to have a bit of a gambling problem. In fact the whole film is misconception all around and that's why they chose the name Focus because even though it's a very fast paced quick film which gets to the core of its subject and the core of what it wants the audience to believe the movie is about which you go and see it and you're expecting this gambling movie with a lot of sleight of hand and kind of like you're watching the real hustle you're expecting a really good hustle movie and in all fairness it is because it hustles you into believing that you're actually watching a romance story between Will Smith's character and Margot Robbie's character. They seem to get into a relationship after finding each other at the beginning of the movie and for the first half of the movie it's all about what Will Smith does, his character as he is at that time frame and the female's lead character Jess's part. They, their stories and how they got to where they are is told to the audience and through this a romance blossoms and then 
the romance ends and it goes forwards five years and this is where the movie kind of has a hint of Oceans 12, Oceans 13, Oceans 11 and a lot of those movies it kind of has that big hustle feel to it but then the romance starts again and you're there it's, it's kind of a iffy movie really because when you think about it the way it hustles and tricks the audience into thinking that they're watching a romance rather than a hustle or a crime thriller movie is really well done and you definitely believe that you're watching a romance story which overall it is but like, like I say if you pay attention to the details and what's going on you realize that well yeah I can't really go into it too much because that would just ruin the film for you so it would be left on a cliffhanger there but it is good to see Will Smith actually acting again rather than being the mandatory black man hero in a movie that Hollywood seems to need now and again such as when he was in Independence Day or I Robot or Wild Wild West and other films like that. It's very rare you actually see the acting side that he shows in films such as Seven Degrees of Separation, Seven Pounds, Made in America, films like that. The ones where it really stretches his acting. The last film he did, the After Earth, that was it. Eh, not so much of a stretch of acting, more of a technical ability in green screen and CGI and a lot of his other films like Hancock he was good in it but not really a stretch of acting he definitely played a different character in that one but in focus he's definitely back to the top of the range acting that he is capable of but there's very few films out there that really use him in a good light I mean Ali Obviously that was one of the pinnacles of his movie and his career and the pursuit of happiness was a fantastic film. So Focus is a bit of a hit and miss film for me really because it leads you down a lot of odd roads and there's a lot of red herrings in it. The acting is brilliant in it, the directing isn't anything amazing, there's a lot of quick movements and sharp focuses when it comes to when they're pickpocketing people and you know the details on the eyes that they show and really misleading the character. It's really well directed but there's nothing amazing about it. It is what you would expect from a film like this. Uh, the acting is spot on but then again they've got a brilliant cast of some fantastic actors at the moment and like I say, Will Smith just is perfect for this role and it's great seeing him do some fantastic acting again. So it's definitely one worth seeing, but if you don't get a chance to see it in the cinema, then you're not missing out on a lot. So I would say it's a good solid 3 out of 5 film and one worth being in your DVD collection. Thank you very much for watching the Visual Distortion Movie Review Show reviewing the 2015 movie Focus on the Jekyll69 channel where shit is always interesting. This is the Jekyll69 channel where interesting shit happens every day. So remember to subscribe and comment to our channel for interesting shit to do with the world of technology. Hits on Twitter. Film reviews, my life with Android, and Kickstarter. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe and comment. And until next time, keep your shit interesting.